If you have something to say, say it. Little Bobby sheepishly and hesitantly approached his mom with some news that he really believed that she needed to hear, but he needed to express it. It went to the very depths of his heart and his feelings and his conviction. And he started muttering and he started hesitating. And little by little, he would let out a word and then another word and then another word until finally his mom said, Bobby, just say it, just say it. And I have two words for you today. And those two words are, say it. To which you might respond with another question. Say what, Tom? Say what? What do you want me to say? And I would say to that, it. Say it. That thing, that idea, that notion, that conviction, that message that is burning in your heart, that just has to come out, and you are finding it difficult to discover the words that will express it. Say it. And I'm going to give you an acronym to help you focus on what to say and how to say it. The S in say is for search. Search your heart and your mind for that passion, that idea, that message, that burning collection of thoughts and words that you're formulating that is your message to the world today. Search. What is it you really want and need to get across? And once you've discovered that, you'll be well on your way to saying it for all of us. The second word is from the letter A in say. The letter A in say is assess, assess, assess your audience. Ass assess the people that you want to convey your message to. For Bobby, it was his mom. But then maybe if it worked with his mom, he would have had a wider audience after that. Because if you will assess them and their ability to hear and their needs and their uh, presuppositions and their understanding, if you will do a careful assessment of who it is to whom you are speaking, then you can access them. You can access their minds that they will hear you. It's not enough just to formulate our words and get them out there. We must access. And in order to access, we must assess. The why in say is for yell. Yell. Say, I don't like yelling. No, yell softly. Yell softly. Choose high impact words. Choose high impact pauses. Choose high impact phrases. And choose high impact inflections of your words. Because sometimes, even if you whisper, your whisper will gain attention that screaming at the top of your lungs will simply not work for. Your pause, your moment. Yell softly. Ah, but there must be an it. There must be an it. You must have something to say in order to say something. 
And I'm going to suggest to you that that message must be the core of everything you do and must be the reason you have stood in front of people or sat down in front of a microphone to speak in this moment. So say it. And as you say the it of it, may I suggest another acronym? It. I. The I in it is for involving others and bringing them into the circle of meaning that you're trying to convey. Because you're not just delivering a message, but you are delivering a message to people, people who think, people who feel, people who relate, people who love, people who have fears and apprehensions and hopes and dreams. So bring them into the message. Involve them by involving their senses, by understanding what's in their eyes when they look at you, by anticipating their responses and inviting their responses. Involve them in an event, which is your moment of saying it. And the T is for terminate. And what I mean by that is when you're done, stop and sit down. And I am going to role model that in just a moment because I'm done. I've told you what I was gonna tell you, I've told you, and now I'm gonna tell you what I told you. And when I've done that, it's up to you to apply it. Search within yourself for what you wanna say. Assess your audience, yell softly, involve the people and terminate when you're done. Have a great day, I'm done.